also on YouTube, it's Pete TT. Welcome back to another Destiny 2 video. Today, guys, we are talking about account and character migration for Destiny 2. So, as always, a link will be in the description down below. This one will actually take you over to Bungie, a very lengthy article talking about the account and character migration from, you know, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, legacy consoles, PS3, PS4. Absolutely a ton of information over there. I highly recommend you go and read it for yourself. But this video will kind of give you what I would consider to be the important parts, some very important FAQ, some very important information. So yeah, that's what we're going to talk about. Without further ado, let's just jump straight into it. So in preparation for Destiny 2, all existing Destiny accounts will automatically undergo an account and character migration process. This process will import some of the character and game progression data into Destiny 2. All existing Destiny accounts will automatically undergo an account migration progress on August 1st, 2017. Obviously that happened a couple of days ago. The process will import character and game progression data for Destiny 2. Now, when we actually look at character requirements for a character's game progression to be recognized in Destiny 2, the character must have reached level 20 and must not have been deleted at the time of the account and character migration. What this means, guys, is if you have a Guardian, i.e. your day one characters, they will have been you know, carried over to Destiny 2. All of your looks, all of like your face paint, your hair, all of that kind of thing, they will be already have taken now and um, put into the destiny 2 kind of framework so that when you log in on september 6th you will have your characters there if you had a character that wasn't level 20 then well it's not going to get carried over <laughs> pretty much you'll have to start again now we will talk about this a little bit more later on because there are a few more pieces of information that we will talk about moving on then character data in destiny 2 to see the migrated data represented in destiny 2 players will need to ensure that you use the same psn or xbox credentials when logging into destiny 2 what that means guys is if you've got multiple gamer tags or multiple psns basically make sure you use your main one because that'll be the one that is carried over for example my xbox gamer tag is p3t3tt if i log into destiny 2 as p3t3tt then i will have my destiny 1 character if i log into my second account then i will not have my main destiny one character in destiny two so yeah remember what account you logged into make sure september 6th day one you log in with the same account next then destiny accomplishment rewards in destiny two destiny two will be able to recognize and reward a player's destiny accomplishments for an accomplishment to be recognized in destiny two players must complete the tracked accomplishments by the time of the account character migration on august 1st now again that is obviously already passed guys but there were a few different emblems and things you could get hold of there is a separate video i will try and link it in the description down below but basically if you completed any of the year one or year two moments of triumph you will get a special emblem if you completed uh, you know a single individual moment of triumph you will get an emblem if you completed you know rank two or rank seven in the age of triumph record book you will get an emblem and if you had a grimoire score of over 5,000, you will get a separate emblem now again i won't try and get drawn into the whole are these good or bad kind of rewards for being a destiny one player because well that is entirely down to your personal opinion what I want to do now is move on to the frequently asked questions there are some very important question and answers here that is what we're going to cover now number one then will players be able to edit their migrated character customization options in destiny 2 the answer to that is no so yeah <laughs> basically guys you are stuck with whatever your characters look like in destiny 1 in destiny 2 unless you want to delete them and start again now personally it's not too big of an issue for me because i will probably be starting fresh characters because i'm swapping from xbox to playstation so yeah i'm kind of not too worried about this but some of you might be number two then can players use the account and character migration progress to move their account from one platform to another the answer to this is no to be able to access the migrated data a player must use the same PSN ID or Xbox Gamer Tag credentials to log into Destiny 2. Now, this one I kind of am sad about moving from Xbox to PlayStation. It would have been pretty nice to carry over, you know, my characters and my achievements from Destiny 1 into Destiny 2 on a separate console because it's basically going to make me look like a newbie on the PSN. Next then, number three, can players access their Destiny 2 emblems for Destiny accomplishments on a different console platform or the PC platform added on the, uh, 20, on the 22nd of the 6th? 
And the answer to that is no. The Destiny 2 emblems are tied to a player's PSN or Xbox Game Attack and cannot be accessed on other platforms. Again, this is kind of a kick in the nuts, especially if you're a console player and you're going to PC because there is no way for you to show off you are a day one Destiny player. Again, I'm personally not too impressed or happy about these you know especially as they're carrying on exclusive content on playstation especially as pc is coming into the works and i know a lot of people that play on console that are going to back to kind of main pc it, it just feels like you know bungie is saying you, you know you're not having anything for being in in year one so yeah guys i'd love to know your thoughts about that particular part in the comment section down below like are you a pc player kind of getting pooped on with, with the way things are actually going to work um yeah let me know down below moving on then will an account's silver balance or eververse purchases be included in the account migration and the answer to that again is no the silver balance and eververse purchases of a player's account will not be imported into destiny 2 by the account migration progress again i don't get this okay we know eververse is going to be in destiny 2 we've seen it, it is in the farm why can't we carry our silver over okay i get the point that they don't want to carry shaders or emblems or ships or anything like that over but why not carry the silver over? Eververse is still going to be in Destiny 2. It's still going to be the same Eververse. It's still going to be the same silver. Why can't that carry over? Again, let me know your thoughts about that in the comment section down below, guys. And uh, next up then, will any promotional items such as the Nepal emblem and the shader, the blacksmith shader, the bungee bounty, etc. be included in the account migration? And again, the answer is no. The account migration progress will not import any existing items into Destiny 2, including any existing emblems, shaders, ships, barrows, or other collectibles. <sighs> again, personally guys, I'm not a huge fan of this one because it kind of feels like if you actually put money into Destiny 1, you're not getting anything back out of it in Destiny 2. The Blacksmith Shader, for example, was a pre-order. Um, if we look at the Bungie Bounty, why not be allowed to carry your Bungie Bounty forward and say, look at me, Destiny 1, I completed a Bungie Bounty. The Nepal Emblem, again, people put a lot of money into different things. They got their Nepal Emblems. Why not, as it was a charitable cause, allow them to carry that over into Destiny 2? So, yeah, again, I would love to know your thoughts thoughts guys and what do you think about things not carrying over and some things that are finally i want to go back to talk about the character creation thing okay like i said your characters are being imported they will remain exactly the same there currently is no plan to allow players to edit the customization of all options of an imported character and again it's like wow this is 2017 going into 2018 so many games allow you with a sequel to change and tweak your character's appearance why can't we do that in destiny 2 now i know some people are going to say like it's not an issue you just make a new character but like if i want to keep my day one titan that was made you know in the beta then day one 2014 my main titan i've never deleted it's like a couple of hundred ranks on absolutely everything but I still wish, like, I regret the decision to give him blue hair. Why can't I change that? Okay, I'm going to be stuck with blue hair forever. <laughs> I, I would love the ability to change that. But yeah, guys, that is going to wrap up this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. It gave you a bit more of an insight into the account and character migration going on. Again, links will be in the description down below, taking you to the Bungie website, where you can read up on absolutely everything we've spoken about today and an awful lot more. So yeah, if you found the video helpful, drop a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. It would be greatly appreciated. But for now, guys, that's going to wrap the video up. As always, thank you very much for watching and until the next video, I'll catch you all soon.